What is up, guys? Welcome to MKU Primetime at Night, Week 2, Season 13. Tonight we got a great match. We have Mushroom Team versus The Real Panas in Division 3. Uh, I'm Jacob. I'm joined by Pyrus. What's up, Pyrus? What's up? What's up, Jacob? So, we got our lineups here. Uh, we have Falco X streaming, and I think Jules is also going to stream. So, should have a dual POV here. I don't know. What do you have to say about these lineups? Um... I'm seeing a lot of MT having these strong players such as Falco X, um, YFM, and uh, Kai right now. And honestly, I think they have it over TRP. Um, I'm only recognizing players such as Hurara and Sergio. But for the most part, I think MT has a stronger presence in the front than TRP. What about you? I would have to agree with you. I, th I think MT has more players who are known as strong runners. But then you have, obviously, a player like Huayra who plays muted, so he's forced to run pretty much every race. And he's a really, really strong player. He was one of the best on MT when he was there. And kind of along with that, when you mention these two teams, you have to remember that TRP formed very close to the beginning of this season as an offshoot for Mushroom Team. Fal and Huayra, who are in this lineup, they were both in MT up until about a week before deadline. So I would imagine there's probably some beef here. Um, <laughs> a little Storyline wise, <laughs> story wise, this might be the most juicy war this season. So I I'm super excited to see how it's going to go. I think so too. And do we know if uh, MT or TRP is hosting yet? Still or... not sure. Sure. Uh, right. Someone in the media staff chat would have to confirm for me. Okay, we think that YFM is hosting, so we'll have to keep that in mind. It's going to be a beneficial position for MT to start off. Uh, maybe C in inward track to begin with, like a PPS, maybe mm -hmm. even like TikTok, Turnpike, something. YFM something obviously like known. Yeah. One Water of the best part. inward players in the community. Mm. And just looking more... On the MT side, some of the sleeper players here for MT, Iceman, NVGS, these are players that have been on the roster for a while, but they're not really names that you think of immediately when you think of MT. Obviously, you think of people like Falco X and YFM, but th they've been there. They're very strong players in their own right. So MT really bringing out the big guns for this war. Yeah, the most like the most underrated position like in a team is like being the support, um, like getting the people who who are really good at running up to the front, and that's a role that I feel like Iceman and MVG really carry with uh, having being able to hit the uh, other team in order for their team to run up in the in first position, second position, and be able to run and be uh, have like a like a contest between. TRP and Iceman and NVG in order to protect the first position from uh, from being taken yeah. over. Absolutely. And when you look at TRP's side, they have players that can do the exact same thing, right? You have yes. Fal, who was filling that role on MT last season, and you have uh, Emilio, who was filling that role on Zodiacs last season. So I think even though they have lesser known names than the MT side, they have players that can fill the exact same roles, and they can absolutely compete. That's why they end, both ended up in D3, right? Yeah. Um, one thing I don't really get is the <laughs> is the use of inwards, for the most part. Like, um, I understand, you know, you can use any combo in this game. I mean, like, look at two years ago, you had Baby Rosalina everywhere. But the use of inwards is uh, becoming, like, bigger, I feel like, since since the game first started. And that's kind of interesting to think because, um, you know, back in 8U, uh, inwards were completely obsolete. And look, and we, we look at matches such as now where we have two bikers in the same lineup and it's still going to be a close match. Even it, even then, it might, might even be like a blowout. And the fact that inwards can be such a big presence and can completely shift over how tracks are picked such as PPS, um, Mortar Park... Twisted Mansion, you know, stuff like that is really interesting to, to think about. Yeah, it's, it's interesting, right? Because all of these really good inward players, they've been playing like since the game came out. It's just that a lot of them have stayed the course. They've continued to play the game since release, just improving and improving and being able to compete with 
the on paper better combos in the room. I think of a team like IF1 who has three inward bikers. Yeah, in the three, top yeah. Lineup. <laughs> and they do so well with the, the bikers too. Right, like they, they can beat World Friend 1, which is arguably the best team in MKU right now. So it, it's kind of insane that this like objectively worse combo can keep up and even outperform the better combo. The thing about uh, a biker is like, you know, it's the niche pick. So like, of course, you're not going to know like what really like the strengths and weaknesses of a biker if you're not a biker yourself. And one thing that trips me up for sure is being back spammed by oh, yeah. a biker because the way that the green or like red, whatever you're backing goes, it's like an in, it's like a tight line where it's just a straight back instead of where like a card where it kind of curves a little bit or it goes like a sort of an angle and that trips people up because an inward can be so unpredictable with their backing and i feel like that can be used in this war a lot yeah for sure and that also comes with the uh different back cam of the inward bike um if, if you're on an outward combo then like the back cam can kind of be shifted to one side Mm -hmm. But if you're on an inside drifting bike, you look backwards, the thing in the exact middle of the screen is what your back spam is going to hit. So oh. it's easier to aim, and it's also harder to avoid. So yeah, back spams are super, super deadly on an inward bike. That's interesting. I didn't I didn't know about the backing in the straight, like the straight middle part. I just thought like whatever your the, the bike's line was, it's going to back spam. But that's interesting. Yeah, so obviously that's one of one of the few advantages of inward bikes. Um, <laughs> that's a point to the bikers, man. <laughs> so uh, obviously still waiting for the room to fill up here. Take some time to appreciate the wonderful uh, Mexican flag graphic. Uh, the Mexican flag doing. with the Mexican song in the in the beginning. <laughs> all, the full on patriot patriotism for uh, no Mexican teams here. Oh yeah, if if I was Iceman right now, I would be feeling pretty singled out. NVGs yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> the only foreigners in the room. I mean, <laughs> that's pretty much how lounge is, man. Like, you go fill up in a, in a lounge, and <laughs> oh, it's just yeah. Japanese people, and then you're just the only foreigner. Like, oh, dude. <laughs> I'll can up and lounge at like 2 a.m. <laughs> yeah, only pretty American much. in the room. Only American in the room, and then like Japanese people play uh, like differently than the uh, foreigners. Japanese people are a lot more aggressive oh, yeah. with their items. And yeah, when, I, <laughs> when I started playing lounge, I was not expecting to see like six excite bike picks on the first race. Oh yeah, no, the excite bike meta is completely like in right now, and like <laughs> oh, yeah. lounge has completely taken over the community. But you know that's not a bad thing in some not ways. A bad thing. And hey, more. We still, more have, we still have a great six v six community happening. Obviously, we're casting uh, the biggest six v six league right now, and it's the largest it's ever been. Right. Yeah, I think 138 teams this season, which is insane. Yeah, that's crazy. When I, because I recently came back to the community, like within the last two months, like seriously, and I was just surprised about how many teams there are and how many divisions, and like how many people are still active in this community. Like people old I knew from the very beginning, and even people new, were still coming in, and that's crazy to me because, like. I remember when AD first died, um, and the, the community was pretty much on its deathbed with people not really playing, and AD really revived the community, and seeing we're at like an all-time high with how many teams we have and how many divisions we have is really good to see. Yeah, for sure. And like, really, it's even more recent than AD coming out, because I remember I started playing this game in like mid-2019. And when I started playing MKU, it was six 12-team divisions. So that's, what, 60 plus a few teams? Because D6 yeah, like wasn't 72. full. Yeah, yeah. Like so the, the league has doubled in size since I started playing, like, a year and a half ago. It It's insane, the growth rate that we've had. And it's growing every season still. And I uh, honestly, I hope uh, we continue this growth path because... Seeing the Mario Kart community, as small as it is, we have like a big voices and we've done a lot in this community. And the fact that we even continue having tournaments like this without any, you know, real payoff or benefit, it's just for our pure enjoyment. I think that's really good for the community and signifies that we do care about this game, no matter how luck based it may be. Oh, yeah. So 
apparently. We got 11 in room right now. With uh, <laughs> nine minutes Dude. past. Sorry uh, that we just need to fill time for you right now. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're just... We're waiting. We're waiting. We're, we're waiting just as patiently as you guys. Uh, we're just trying to fill up the the air with some conversation. All right. But Do we have 12? Look, we have it 12. It looks like we have awesome. 12 in, though. So we're going like to be starting the, off with the Falco X POV here. I like the uh, four fish me's in the room, though. Okay. <laughs> I think that's on the TRP side. I, I know that at least one of them has one of those fees. And they're doing this right. Yeah, they're having fun with it. I think that's the oh, yeah. most important thing to do, is just have fun with this game, because if you try to take this game too seriously, you'll be disappointed. I can tell you that. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I know we all take the game pretty seriously. We're playing it competitively, but at the end of the day, it's still Mario Kart, right? Gotta have some yeah, fun with it. gotta have some fun. It's Nintendo, man. Like, you can't expect too much out of them. <laughs> All right. All right, and we are getting underway here. I'm interested to see what track is going to get picked here. It's going to be I something just, that benefits YFM. Yeah, I assume probably a PPS. If not, then... Honestly, I, 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 I don't see anything else but a PPS. Bowser's Castle. Bowser's Castle, yeah. So this is a track that kind of sleeper benefits inwards. It's, it's not really talked about as an mm -hmm. inward beneficial track. But it's pretty much Mushroom Team's clan track. They're pretty known for being good at it. And yeah, it is pretty good on Inside Drifting Bikes. You know, so the thing about BC is if you start first, you can just get out of there, out of like right out of the gate. You know, starting first, <laughs> you just have an inward and you just take the tightest lines possible. And there's nothing you can do because the first set, everyone's pretty much going to get a coin or a green. And but... it's pretty easy to avoid those if you understand what you're doing. TRP with the counter pick. We are going to Cloud Top Cruise on the first race. Uh, YFM is just going to get outlined immediately on this. Yeah, rounds. pretty much. So, uh, hopefully, Falco yeah. X will be able to keep first here. We'll see. Hopefully, for him, he's able oh, to. He oh, oh getting bumped oh, no. right away. Oh, man. Yeah, no, he's just out of here. He... <laughs> yeah, so it's going to be an early first from Huayra, it looks like. YFM is still up there, but Falco X stuck in the back early on from a fail at the beginning. So right That's now, the thing, spots. Of, the thing about Cloud Top is, if you're not gonna be first within the first lap, you are better off trying to you know go for shock or try to catch play catch up, because Absolutely. the mid pack is really interesting in, in this course, and there's gonna be a lot of people getting hit. Because for example, triple greens in a fire, and with with this ending section being so tight and narrow, you're gonna see a lot of people getting hit. Oh, that was a nice green snipe. Awesome. Very nice snipe. And so it's looking along like... along with the, uh, the pack being so chaotic on this track, Shock is also mm. insanely powerful. Oh, here. Yes. You have two really good TS spots uh, with the two separate gliders. Mm -hmm. So, I, I mean, you can see someone, a team in top six end up in bottom six by the end of the race. And it's interesting because uh, it looks like YFM, because he was starting DK, he looks like he's holding down uh, top position first, maybe second. Yeah, there's two um, DKs up there. I'm not sure who the who the other one is, but YFM definitely still up there, even though he's at a disadvantage here. So I think YFM is first because that DK was Scooty, I believe. So it's yeah, super interesting that he was able to maintain his top position, even though he's put at a major disadvantage right off the bat on this track. Unfortunately, there is a blue, so it looks like YFM's gonna take out a first. And oh, ooh, really unfortunate a... red there. Yeah, it looks like TRP is holding down these top spots, and I'll, I don't think there's going to be a shock in play at all. It's at least a 4 5 6 for MT, so oh. if they do have a shock, it could be good for them. Pretty bad fail oh. for Falco X. If I'm MT, I'm really hoping for a shock here. But it's not, not. going to come. Unless that guy in last? Oh, no. If so. it did come, it would be too late to make a yeah. huge effect here. So that's going to be a good race for TRP. I feel like that was a really like mixed race right there, and but mostly benefiting TRP. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, top yeah. Top two. Bottom two though, so it kind of cancels out. How did Mo pass those two people on the line? He um, was like, he was super far back. I'm not too sure. It, that's just how Cloud Top is. You just get hit um last set or last like straight pretty much after the cut. Like you just pass people, and that was a winning race by two for TRP. 
Yeah, so not as good as I assumed it was. The top two helps, but uh, Mo gaining those spots on the line, putting TRP in bottom two, hurts them quite a bit. And they still opt to go. Oh, oh no, they're switching off to BC. Oh, BC is looking like a really important pick for the for the Spanish people. I yeah, guess. I think. I think what TRP is doing here is they're trying to make it so MT can't pick this track when they have good spots because That's, that is a stride right there. MT is really, really very well known for being good at Bowser's Castle. So TRP is probably mm -hmm. thinking, all right, we're playing this track no matter what sometime this war. Mm -hmm. We should at least play it when we have the advantage spots wise. They have to watch out for YFM in third right here. He can still get that breakaway that they're looking for race one. We'll yeah, just have to see. Six from MT. It, it could be dangerous. Yeah, it looks like YFM is indeed out of there, and so it works out in TRP's favor. Yeah, very nice from TRP. That's a, a great turn of fortune for them. We have yeah. Falco X still in fifth. And it looks like there is some TRP up there, maybe in top TRP, two. Top two, maybe top three, but um, we'll see because uh, Falco X has his red, and he should be able to hold on to this so he can maybe red someone off. Or he decides to back it, okay. Oh, getting two single shrooms in Oh, that That's... bomb just got the entire room. That's crazy. It's an insane bomb. Gotta watch yeah. out for Kai's triple greens here. Don't want a TK. But yeah, it's yeah. gonna be a 2-3 for MT, mostly because of that bomb that took out... That bomb, it was... About six whoever's bomb that was, that was goaded, but... When the horn, very unfortunate. Uh, should be able to red Axel here. And it looks like... MT still 2-3, they gotta get out of get the person out of first. Hopefully they'll be able to pull a blue, but... Um, wasn't, wasn't Kai also up here? I think it might be a top 3 from MT. Um, no, I think TRP's first. I'm not we'll sure. See, I guess. If he throws this red, then we know. Yeah, Alright, no, so TRP, TRP's still first. And it looks like... Uh, teammate just fell out of third here so two four for mt right now and it looks like first is gonna Ooh, that's Ooh. unfortunate the blooper is really like whoa it horned right there that's interesting so make making the best out of a bad situation there uh obviously failing the line due to the blooper but getting a horn off because of it still gonna be a two four five for mt whoever's in first right now is just Gone. Winning this race, unless there's a blue shock. Unless combo. there's a, yeah, unless there's, oh, there goes the shock. That has to be an empty shock. Yeah, TS is the guy in first, so spoke too soon. Uh, Mo oh, could make some happen. Race. That's pretty big. If oh, oh, <laughs> in the snipe. He couldn't get the reds out in time. He should have. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> there he goes, man. All right, so. The spots still looked somewhat mixed here. I, it looks like the guy in first was able to keep his position. But that was, that was a really good race first. for MT. Two through six for them. Falco honestly, X getting last hurts it, makes it a bit more even, but it's still a plus 12. Honestly, for MT there. I feel like if, if Falco X didn't get hit there, they wouldn't have gotten the spots that they, they would have got. So I think it's a worthy sacrifice. Oh, yeah, sacrifice. He had those so triple reds. Done. And really based on the ending spots it would have been his whole team around him so exactly so it would have been caused more like ang like anxiety around their teammates and everything so it's better that he did get hit there for the better of his team getting hit the second time though that's that's just unfortunate yeah no, no that that second hit was really unfortunate and just the pull in general i was expecting him to get shrooms but you know triple reds in third that, that also works yeah i mean some sometimes you just don't get the pull you need. It's oh, unfortunate, but Sergio as we were DC. saying earlier. I wonder if that was a Sergio shock right there. Uh, like a bot shock or if it was just... I wonder. That could have happened. If, if that happened, that was really unfortunate for TRP. Yeah, it's super unlucky for them. Uh, TSing their guy in first from a bot shock. But, I mean, he still did get first in the race, so... RMC is picked, and honestly, this is a top... Like a, like a bottom 10 track for me. I Really? I do not like this track at all because there's two ways you can go about this. You can either bag and hope the dot shock or you run. And it's pretty much luck based what happens at the end of lap three in the set. And it can go really well or it can go really bad. Um, pretty but right true. now, 
Right now, Falco X is in a, an amazing spot right now. With triple bananas as protection and triple shrooms, he's going to be able to hold these shrooms and take the cut all three laps in order to, you know, maybe get a break away from first. Yeah, the um, one thing that Falco X has to worry about right now is the shock. If it comes in early, he might be screwed here. But it's looking like he's going to be able to have a breakaway here. Honestly, he should be able to shroom up in this first cut here and take first and hold down the position just in case a shock does happen for MT. God, oh, watch out for these greens. Could have been a leg throw there. He's pretty lucky to avoid it. And he mm. will be in first with two reds. He's looking pretty good right now. If he's able to trail any of this TRP, then it's a winning situation. But the shock does come out, chains TRP into boxes. So he could have been either team's shock because both teams did get the set there. That's true. Had to drop out because the guy in second pulled a red. So that's unfortunate for Falco X here. And CRP also getting hit on the line. Looking like a winning race for MT right there, if I'm not mistaken. And this bottom three just overbagged so hard <laughs> He's so hard and that's the problem with rmc but oh top two four five seven for mt you know i'm almost wondering if that was another dc from sergio because he was really really far he, back yeah no last. he was extremely far behind so like i would have to assume that that was a, a, a dc from them and especially since that shot seemed like it benefited both teams equally um considering it uh, shocked first into uh, out of boxes and it dodged one of MT. I assume that was a bot shock. Yeah, if so, that's really, really unlucky for TRP. <laughs> Playing so two nice. races in a row 5v6 and, and losing on both of them. Pretty big. So they'll hopefully they'll be able to get this TM pick, which allows them to get shrooms in the mid pack. But it's looking like an S. Oh no, they do get the TM pick. So Let's see. they'll be able to pull shrooms for a set and just take all oh, that was a DC yeah, by so, Sergio. So Sergio is going to DC two races in a row. He's Hopefully throwing, he can man. stay in the room. <laughs> <laughs> this is so unfortunate. And uh, like bot shocks like aren't that often, but when they do happen, they're really, really beneficial to whoever notices them first. So hopefully Sergio doesn't DC this race. <laughs> It'd be pretty unfortunate to see a majority of this war being played in 5v6. Hopefully he can stay in the room. But it's looking like uh, the TRP pick is working out for the most part with MT falling behind and TRP being able to catch up here. It's at least a 9, 10, 11 for MT right now. And pretty bad bump for Falco X here. I would stop if I was him. Yeah, yeah he so he's going to bag right here, you know, try to play the, the long game, the long-term game, and try to get a star, shroom, 10 coins. Okay, Fal is back here, but it looks like all the other bottom spots are MT. So yeah. I would so. be looking for shock if I was them. So if he's, oh, that's so unfortunate, but if he's able to hold this star up in the pack and his teammate gets shocked, then this can be really beneficial for him. Yeah, but, for sure. It's looking like top two. Whoever's in top two is just completely gone. And I would have to assume that they're, t they're teammates of each other because they're not really getting hit in top two. And MT... They're both staying right next to each other. One of them yeah. is going to get hit by something. And the blue's coming so, out for the other, so we'll see who they are pretty soon here. I'm thinking this all oh, um, the is bomb. really good by TRP. I'm assuming that's a top three for TRP right now, considering MT was throwing triple reds and a blue at them. Yeah, MT um, is definitely going to need shock here if they want a good race. Uh, you see Mo stopping for it. They know that they're in a pretty bad position right now. Yeah, the thing about uh, hard bagging is like either you get it or you don't. If you get it, you benefit your team a lot, but if you don't get it, you completely throw away your position and you're getting last for your team. You know what? I, th I think it is still a good play to suicide bag at this point because if there's yeah. no shock, someone on your team is getting last anyway. Like exactly, you're in a so, really bad position. You just need to stop. Oh, and go that through. was an amazing back right there. It's probably going to be a really good race for TRP. Really here. good, really good pick for TRP right here. Top, Top four. four, six, eight. Oh my god. Okay. Bottom four for MT, man. This so. That was a plus 34 race for TRP, <laughs> and now they're winning by two after four. So, 
Apparently, That's the thing Ser- about TM, apparently uh, Sergio staying in the room really benefits TRP. <laughs> um, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, when he stays in the race, he they get top four. I mean, that's a dub. And being up, being able to actually play a war six v six, it's a it's a good position to be in. Pretty, I know. You, you coming back this early, um, that's must feel good. You know, first GP already have it so close again after losing by like thirty six beforehand. Yeah, like, for sure. And even though the score is within two right now trp definitely has the momentum they just came off a plus 34 race if they are able to get rws which RWS. they are trp and is in a really good position right now really they, good they position, could get a huge lead this race considering that mt has two bikers and this track is not good for bikers um because of the the fast ramps that that happens in the middle of the track that allows people to gain a lot of time on bikers so um, yeah yeah, so the normal strat, the normal ramp strat is possible on inward bikes, but the fast ramp strat, as far as I know, is not possible. So uh, yeah, if, I do not think so. If you're if you're playing in a room with really good players, people with great lines on this track, which I mean, we're in D3. I'm assuming this is. Yes. In, inward really bikers are going to have a pretty big disadvantage here. And yeah, there you it's go. It's looking like TRP is keeping this top three with Falco X contesting for this top three. I'll watch out for the red. It's not going to connect, so it's just a top he's two for TRP right now. Oh, missing the, the double. double. Yeah, that's really... But he does get triple bananas. He's probably going to be able to banana type at least one of them. If not, at least keep his trail to hopefully trail one of his opponents. NV NVGS getting taken out. Really good from Panna there, so it's still going to be a top two for TRP. Top two for, uh, four for TRP right now. So Falco X is looking kind of scared right now, trying to keep his position while also taking out people in He's front of him. Forced to chain his shroom, which could have helped him on the cut, and Ooh. he's gonna get trailed. So it'll be a top three for TRP here. Almost fireballing his teammates, and TRP does backfire. And yeah, both of them get back. So it's top three broken away for TRP right now. And I'm MT once again put in an awful position. I'm wondering if that guy in last is bagging or if he DC'd. He's probably bagging though, because they do need the shock. RWS yeah. is impossible to catch up on, like in a normal sense, because there are no shortcuts except for the ending, which doesn't even save that much time. And the bomb is going to take out MT. I forget which one it is, but I know one of them's on Wario right now. And but MT's holding down this four, five, six position with top three pretty much gone so and if mt does have shock they're gonna want to chain it uh they're gonna want to chain yfm into last set i do not but he's think not getting rid of shock. his fires so they don't have it and this is looking like an unfortunate race for mt right here with no no hopes of catching up yeah trp is going to extend their lead here so momentum as i said has completely shifted in trp's favor Top three, and they did not get bottom three, so that's a really good race for TRP right there. Yeah, for sure. Top three, of course, it, it's a guaranteed win no matter what. Top three, bottom three is still a winning race, but any spot better than that is just icing on the cake for TRP. Exactly. So if you're MT right now, you're hoping for any reset track. Excitebike, Cheeseland, anything that... You, DS even. DS is a really good pick. But they decided to go to Electrodrome. Um, this Electrodrome. Interesting. And really interesting track because um, in AU, it used to be an anti first track. But the thing about um, starting top three in Electrodrome is your teammates in second and third can draft off of you and just completely break away. So. Yeah, that's the thing. For, first place on ED is still screwed. But if you have two, three, they're going to get drafted. They're going to be able to keep a top spot. It doesn't mm. matter because we're going to airport. So. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we always talk about the tracks that don't get picked. I know. We, we should have talked about how great Sunshine Airport is for top three. Honestly, Sunshine Airport is an amazing track. It is completely underrated. Because first, keep keep it, and then these mid spots can get shrooms in order to take cut. So right here, Falco X should be able to pull a shroom, or a red, which also helps. Um, he's got he's his looking... teammates around him, so he's going to be forced to hold it for a while. Watch out for the triple nanas. And oh, if we look at the map, there is a DK in first right now. And that's really good. And he does get one of TRP out of here. He's hoping to green snipe um, foul right here. Hopefully, if not, Maybe he's able to trail. Run into him. 
You get the draft. Very close. Um, it's not going to connect. So it's uh, gonna be a one, three is indeed here. first. Oh, he does get red in. Ugh, triple items suck, man. Yeah, maybe he could have backed the green to avoid it, but it's always risky if that's even going to work on a glider. Exactly. So I don't blame him for getting hit there. But MT is keeping first right now. And top two, because Wario is MT right now. Top two, five, six, looking really good for MT. And they're this just is... looking to get out of uh, three, four for TRP in order to maybe take this top four position. So TRP started in top three there, but MT got into first really quickly. I wonder what happened up at the top. That's, uh, yeah, um, I guess, I, I think two of them failed the startup or didn't get like the full startup, Ooh. if I remember correctly. But right now, oh, oh and the random green is going to hit Emilio while he's holding a ghost. Top yeah. four for MT with triple shrooms in fourth. That's a really unlucky situation for TRP there. Uh, MT just taking full advantage of it. He's a plant also that he pulled and he's able to slow down in order to keep uh, the mid position from catching up. And this is a really good race for MT. Completely t t uh, shifting the tides from last race. Gotta watch out for the shock here. This is obviously an amazing TS spot. If it doesn't come out here, then MT is getting a great race. Oh, and the shock does come. YFM is gonna make it he he didn't get ts'd but sergio. two three four all got hit off the glider hydra's coming up in a plant gotta watch out for that sergio's not able to keep take first but trp does go into two three five i believe yeah so that, that's a really great comeback for trp there obviously without the shock they weren't going to make anything happen that race two three four for mt for uh trp i'm sorry and then bottom three though that completely mitigates that and that's so unfortunate. Still be a plus eight for MT. Um, I wonder how many people dodged the shock, because it looked like only maybe two people dodged the shock. They're just going for mostly a TS, and it looks like they couldn't capitalize off the shock. So, I mean, you take that though. Um, they were top four going to lap three. Like, oh yeah, completely for sure. gone. So you you take a two three four, even if you do get bottom three. Anything that's not a minus 30 there is a great comeback for TRP. Like, exactly. You have they're, a shock. Mm -hmm. They're in top four. You, you need to TS them. It doesn't really matter if nobody dodges. Like, you, you need to use it there. I'm interested by this PPS pick. But, you know, of course, it doesn't matter because we're going to DS. But yeah, Of course. Um, Honestly, TRP can completely take over mid uh, top spots here. Um fourth can probably pull a shroom if they're lucky and they're going to be able to take out of take first out of there you know really fast so we'll see how this plays out yeah ds is obviously like the most traditional drafter in the game yeah it's probably much. everybody's first choice when they're told to think of a drafting track and, and Fal <laughs> falcoax already in first already he does get first. that draft off um, looking good with four coins, more coins than uh, you usually get when starting in uh, at, like a top four position. And TRP holding top two though, with Falco, Falco X, X is contesting. gonna get more tricks, so he's back in first. And he's a ton of pressure on him. Really well right now. He's holding down first, and he has a green trail, a double protection too. So he's able to pull. Oh my god, the side green, no! That was so worth it by TRP. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, Falco X is just dying right now. He got punished for outlining the entire room. I'm Falco X, I'm tilted. I'm just. I'm so mad if I'm Falco X. Yeah, just go bang. Oh my god. So right now, Falco X should be uh, looking forward to making sure that last doesn't get shocked because. He is back here. He's not going to be able to catch up easily without a bill because bills, um, bills are really broken on this track. There are two bill spots to happen. There's one, you know, at the beginning of the lap and the one at the end of the eel, which both take you very, very far. And not going to get a bill. Not this is get... a really bad position from MT right now. I think it might be like a bottom five. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully they'll be able to pull shock. But I do not think so. Um, he does boo. That's and smart bounce taking out someone from TRP. So it's not it's not a top six situation right now. 
He backs the bomb, hoping to get a better item. It looks like a lot of TRP is indeed up here. You just have to wonder if MT has any hopes of catching up right now. The, they need shock here again, and it doesn't come out, so this is going to be a, another really good race for TRP. Oh, he's maybe he's able to hit anyone, but no, that was a weird. Ending. I think it's a top four from TRP. I think. Top yeah, top four, four six eleven for TRP. So I think that comes down to the side green on lap one. Side green lap one completely ruined it because if it wasn't for that, then they would have two protections in first. And that's really hard to take to, to like get rid of and yeah, really, sure. really shake off your tail, you know. Considering he had triple jaw two two greens in first, he was able to back him at least one of them without any punishment. But yeah, unfortunate top four, man. Really, really good snipe from TRP. Like, gotta give him yeah. credit where it's due. That was the perfect sure. play, the perfect time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he, the person who threw the green got trailed, but that was completely worth it in in, the, in his team's eyes. Oh, that was so worth it. Because, I mean, otherwise, like you said, Falco X would have been broken away in first with two greens. Like, you can't <laughs> get rid of that without a blue. So, throwing away your own spot to get rid of him is absolutely worth it. Oh, TRP does get the pick once again, able to continue this momentum with Hyrule Circuit, which is an amazing top spot position to be in. Um, it's yeah, really sure. easy to keep top four, and even if you do pull a shroom, you know, in six, seven, whatever, the cut in the beginning is such an awkward cut, you don't really gain that much. And yeah, I would, I would not be surprised if Falco X gets into like a top three spot pretty early here with a shroom. We'll see what he pulls. Does he does get a shroom, so he's gonna pull into first tier, but it's all TRP behind him. The spot is not guaranteed by any means. He has to watch out for any banana snipes, green being throw, thrown forward, and he does avoid that green. And it looks like MT does retake top positions right here. Um, top so it's top two for um, top three, yeah. So the top four from TRP just dissolving immediately. I, I think the shroom cut is better than you're giving it credit, honestly. Honestly, because... it was just because he pulled it in third. But he, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, so. <laughs> Falco X is just not being allowed to run anything this war. Literally. The second he gets in the top position, he just gets hit out every time. Let's pull fireballs with TRP in front of him, with one of his teammates in front of him at the very least. He does get the banana stock on his teammate. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Should still be a top two for MT though. Top two. F oh no, that's Sergio up there. So it's yeah. just two four for MT. He's look. It's such an awkward spot with these fireballs because he's too close to the person to back it and his teammates right in front of him so he yeah, just looks to get rid of the fire and just, yeah, just unable it. to hit anyone with that gonna take the cut up here and huh interesting he didn't throw his red oh this blooper is benefiting oh. there you go he's gonna outline shot? and then there you yeah. go and vgs is gonna get ts even though it wasn't mt shock pretty unfortunate oh, yeah. misplay there and Huayra is gonna come into first anyway TRP top three, it looks like. So was that a predicted TRP shock? I That was a TRP shock, and I assume they called it out in the call, and Falco X was able to stop, which is really risky on his part, because if they didn't use shock, he gave up his first. But um, I mean, it was a really smart play, but unfortunately, he's not really going to gain much from it. He's still only going to get six. Theory. A really good race for TRP. Like an amazing race. T top, <laughs> top three? three, five. Yeah. TRP is just, every time MT gets a top position, TRP just gets rid of it immediately. Yeah, like, completely. Falco X, he deserved to run that, but, you know, random boomerang barely hitting yeah. him. Like, no one on MT is able to run anything this war. Like, the second anyone gets into a top spot, TRP just hits him out, TRP gets top three. Yeah, pretty much, and... This might continue with this uh, Dean, uh, this uh, Neil Bowser pick, considering it's a really good track for for top sp spots and everything. And yeah, if you're sure. empty, you're hoping for a reset spot, any cheese land, any dry dry, literally anything, considering they have top four right now. Yeah, I'm gonna be completely honest here. If MT doesn't get this cheese land pick, I think their war is over. Yes, I agree. I think the momentum is too 
strong for them to really hold back and resist. And the men's gonna be Neo. Jeez. MT has two inward bikers <laughs> and top three five. So yeah, MT is gonna need a miracle here. And honestly, you I think you need shock if you guys don't um take over the top positions by lap one. Um, yeah, Falco X could pull a shroom here like he did on Hyrule, but I mean Knowing how this war has been going, I'll probably just get redded the second after he takes cut, so... I'm not gonna box, that was so unfortunate. And TRP does get most of the boxes with trails. Watch out for the trail. Okay, okay. So they yeah. are gonna team kill there. Um, it's a 5-6 for MT. I think Mo is up here too. Interesting. YFM does get hit out of top position, and... It looks like MT is contesting these top spots. With it's a lot of MT in the middle here. Top. Red's going to skip and hit foul? No, it's just leg. Okay. Top two for M for MT right now, and is Falco X shrooming up, able to support his teammates? It's top four for MT. Really, really good. If you're TRP right now, you're hard bagging for Shock. Oh, yeah. And I assume that Waluigi in last right now is hard bagging um, so for that, TRP. That shift in spots mostly comes down to TRP trailing each other out at the beginning. Oh, that's, that's the one thing oh, to look out for. In this game, if you hit the person on your screen, they get hit, no matter what. And that was a really laggy spot in this track, and having triple greens, and ooh... The it's an early shock. Shock, shock does it come It looks out. like Mo dodged, actually. Someone's up here in a ghost. I think that was a really, really good shock, considering they did it early, so... Now, Falco X, for example, cannot catch up. He has no coins, he has no box, it is lap 3. And everyone in his team is back here. And why if, or uh, I'm sorry, TRP is able to get in these top positions and hold it down for all of lap three. Yeah, there's still at least one guy from MT up there, the Wario. The Wario, but, say. but that's it's a it's a lot of TRP. It's a lot of TRP. And the support that um, MT has right now. And for the most part, it looks like TRP is going to hold these top six positions. And <laughs> getting redded by who knows what. And it's a bottom four? Bottom oh, a lot. Bottom, bottom a lot. Bottom, oh, TRP. <sighs> two, three, four, five. And, v and, and VGS got first. Credit to him. You're first, but you're not looking for these races when you're down 56. Yeah, no, no. It is uh, minus 72 for MT after nine. So if they don't win this next race, just, there's just no chance. Pretty much, um, if you're empty right now, you need, I would honestly go for the Excite Bike pick, um, because they're shown to, TRP is shown to pull shock really, really easily, oh, yeah. and if you don't have people going for shock, you're just gonna give up the, you know, the easy shock for TRP, and Excite Bike allows a lot of people to bag for shock easily since it's just a straight line you get to see oh this person doesn't have shock or this person does have shock um but they are opting for the cheese land pick which is an interesting reset track oh dude please go tr oh uh, uh, they they <laughs> no tr all right fine fine we can play cheese land no tr is c c completely cursed I, that track is a bottom 10. In the, in i'm the not game. even gonna lie I think TR was a really good track pick for them because they need like a top six and TR is a weird track that you can get a top six on. TR is a weird track, but that is such a stretch. If I... <laughs> you need to, you need to be in like Hail Mary mode if you're MT, like Pretty pick much. the pick the weird tracks. Let's let's start the momentum building again first before we go for the Hail Mary. <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> All right, if you insist. So. It's going to be a lot of mid-spots for MT here. Um, if it spaces out more, they could all get dodges. So it's, it's a pretty good position for them to start off. And it looks like not a lot of people are bagging, which is completely rare. Because the thing about Cheese Land is there can be 10 people bagging. I've been in rooms where I'm the only person going forward because I hate bagging this track. Oh, yeah. So interesting to see that these the mt's three four considering uh keep running 
and I do not know who's first, but I assume TRP, yes, Hydra's first, and MT is looking really good. A star in second, triple assumes in third. Yeah, and... if, if MT pulls shock here, they're getting a good race, but I mean, TRP has been pulling a lot more shocks than MT has, so we'll have to see what happens. There's a lot of MT in the back of the Wario and the DK in the back right now, so hopefully they'll be able to pull shock. But for the most part, I think this would be a shockless lap three. Um, yeah, so Mo did decide to hold a star, which tells me that they might have it. He used it now. Could be predicting. Um, it's not going to come out. Oh, unfortunate, but no, it didn't matter. The boo was going to force him to lose his shroom anyway. And looks like it's an easy first top two, maybe, for for MT. Oh, that's unfortunate. And he, oh yeah, he did not bomb his teammate. I was, <laughs> yeah. You know what? I, I don't even blame him for failing that line, cause like the blooper. Once, once oh. the last time you've taken the normal line at the end of Jesus. Pretty much, lap three, like you never take the normal line. Like it, I. I only know how to do the double cut there. Like, <laughs> if you're taking the normal line there, you're in a bad position. That's a really bad race for MT, and it's looking like curtains for it. Yeah, for it, is, it is over, mathematically. Uh, MT is down 92 after 10, so okay. they can only make up 80 in two races. Well, that was a really... Uh, honestly, TRP, TRP played really, really well. Like, they're, like full credit... They they got people such as Falco X out of top spots. You saw Falco X not being able to run at all. They always were able to hit him out of first every single race, and that's good on TRP. And capitalizing on on that, they were able to pull shock pretty much whenever they needed to, and that's really good awareness for TRP. Yeah, I I really can't fault TRP at all for how they played this war. Like they just couldn't miss any of the snipes they went for. They had a ton of top spots. They group ran a lot of tracks. Obviously, there's still two left. MT could bring it back a bit, but yeah, TRP wins after after ten. Considering that Sergio DC first like three races, I'm surprised that TRP held it together. Oh like, yeah, like MT was up quite a bit after three. They were up like 32 after three races. And then as soon as Sergio stopped DCing, they were right back in it you know brought it back they were winning by two the next race which is crazy to think about like their mental game their mental um game must be extremely strong and they were not phased by that dc at all and they were just looking forward to bring it back and they did they ended up clutching out the victory here for sure it looks like mt is first with at least a fourth position and found hit hydra out yes does hit Hydro out and it looks like a one three four for MT. Just have to get foul at a second, and he does top two. Oh, that gonna could... get leg redded. That's so unfortunate. Boomerangs are awful in this game. They do not protect you whatsoever. Oh, but boomerangs are so bad. <laughs> boomerangs, plants, all awful items. Oh, he was pulling big. the the one thing that he didn't want there. That was unfortunate because if he didn't take cut, he had triple reds to take Sergio out. But, you know, just banking on shrooms and does not get a box, man. The red is skipping him, though. That's pretty lucky. Really, really lucky. And, um, MT still holds first, at least a 1 3 for MT. And there's a lot of MT, you know, in this middle pack area. So they could be able to catch up. Yeah, Falco X missing set again. He's really just holding on to this middle spot with nothing to help him. Get this double and go for cut. Um, he does get two, two single shrooms in eighth. Oh my god. I mean, you take those. It's better than a plant and like a boomerang because you can get those in eighth place. Like Yes, it, it, it's better than it could be, but like, come on. It's so bad. Two yeah. single shrooms. <laughs> oh, oh Falco X is, is not having it anymore. He's in 11th place. <laughs> no shot. It looks, it looks no. like both of those MT guys did get hit out at some point. It's gonna be Waluigi's taking the top two. Not MT As for TRP. Assume from TRP. Top two though. Oh, that's really good for TRP. Holding out the winning race is still. 
And so it's a uh, plus ninety four after eleven for TRP. Are they gonna get the hundred here? Plus a hundred. And if you're MT, that's the one thing you can't let them happen. You cannot let the plus a hundred. No, yeah, you need to be fighting for like any winning race here. Because if TRP gets a plus a hundred, like MT is never gonna hear the end of it. <laughs> and MT does go for the Electrodrome, which is interesting. Honestly, I think Electrodrome is a bottom twenty track, N overrated. In my opinion, yeah. anyway. I, I like it for 3 4 5 here. Because the MT can get the drafts here. They can be in really top three by the second set. See, the but thing then is. At that point, it, it'll be TRP getting all the shrooms. The thing is, like, lap, the like the, uh, the ending cut is so unpredictable. There's a lot oh, yeah. of people backing bombs, greens, bananas. Um, literally anything can happen in that ending cut. And that's my reasoning for not liking it, because you cannot take that cut without worrying about getting hit beforehand. And just like every other time we uh, analyze a track pick, it picks the other one. So we're going TikTok. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. TikTok, top three track in the game. We're calling it out. Can't disagree. TikTok is really, really good. It's just like, either you know how to play this track or you don't. And people who do know how to play this track is, are heavily rewarded. Yeah, the one thing you gotta watch out for here is the last turn. It's probably the laggiest single spot in the game. Mm -hmm. And honestly, if you're chilling after after the ending cut lap one, you're completely safe. Like if oh, yeah. you take the cut and you make it, oh! But if you get redded, you're <laughs> half one catching so, up. <laughs> the the story continues of Falco X just not being allowed to run anything in this war. Oh. <laughs> Reddit when he throws it forward behind Poor him. Falco dude. X. I can I can feel the pain in his eyes. Th this is not Falco X's war. He's really trying his best and he's playing really well, but just every time he gets up to a middle spot, he just gets hit out immediately. Gets hit and you know, obviously I would be extremely frustrated if I was him. And you can definitely see it. Um him just like oh just shrooming up immediately, just trying to at least save your savor his his spots. No matter what spot he may be in. Um, but looking at the map, it's looking like a lot of MTs up here with the Wario and the DK both being in the top positions. The DK's up here, and it's a bottom three of Waluigi's. So, Anyone more should... likely to be TRP. We don't know for sure who they are. Just four reds and six right now. Unable to do anything with this, but... Maybe. Might be able to get one out on Fell here. No, but... Not his teammate's teammate, gonna pass him, yeah. Not allowing him to... Oh, he, he does star, so he's able to use all of his reds. There we go, so... Fell had a ghost anyway, so... <laughs> that didn't even matter. Yeah, the play was uh, worth oh, nothing. That Doesn't bomb? get bombed, but Kai's gonna get bombed behind him, so that's really unfortunate for MT. And... Looking like it's a really, yeah, this is a I feel like this is like Falco X like best spot in like a while. Fifth. Yeah, that's like the race that went best for Falco X in the yeah, whole war, honestly. That's so sad. With MT getting the bottom four overall, TRP completely completely doing well here, and you got you have to give it to him. Top yeah. four. Hyra getting 106 with second getting 87. What a war. That's that's insane. So, I mean, yeah, like after like race four, there was no question. Like, TRP yeah. got their momentum back with that plus 34 on race four. And like after that point, there was just no chance for MT. Yeah, pretty much. The momentum was too strong for for MT to, to withstand, with, withhold. And in the end, they were not able to um, make it out alive, considering they were getting, you know, shocked, TS'd, hit out of first every race. They did what they could. They played, both both teams played really real well, I do have to say. Yeah, for sure. It was a fun war. And we we're going to have another fun war tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's prime time is going to be Banana Legion versus Inferno Blaze in Division 2. So make sure to tune into that starting at 4EST, 22 CET. It'll be a great time. See you then.